The Fortune Theatre's artistic director is moving on from the role after five years. Laura McGregor will finish at the theatre in October and she joins us to talk about her career change. Good evening. Hi. What does an artistic director do? Good question. <laughs> so basically I'm responsible for the artistic vision of the theatre and I programme every show that comes into the theatre. Um, all the creatives that come in, all the actors, all the designers, all the directors, um, and I also direct four of the productions each a year myself. So I'm responsible for the art and I work um, in tandem with a general manager who takes care of the finance and together we keep the theatre as buoyant as we possibly can. What's it been like working for The Fortune? Oh, an amazing um, experience that I don't think I'll truly ha be able to absorb exactly what that's been until until I'm gone and I've got the luxury of hindsight, I don't think. Mm. <laughs> Tell us about some of the highlights. Okay, well the highlights of course are the staff, the people in the community that I get to meet and deal with all the time. And because I am the face of the fortune, um, I am intricately involved with the community on every sort of level. Mm. So those are big highlights. Artistically, um, the work that we've done off-site, um, the work that we do with young playwrights and developing young playwrights, um, and just the luxury of having to work with some of the best talent in the country. Mm. So what's prompted your decision to leave? Well, I think five years is really a normal, <laughs> I don't know what's normal, but a normal term for an artistic director, generally speaking. Um, people start to get used to your style and, and what your vision is and my vision has been to keep uh, Fortune producing contemporary work only uh, and of course at foremost I'm an artist so I need to refuel and to keep challenging myself as an artist to grow um, and it's time and it's a great opportunity because there are only six artistic director roles in the country mm -hmm. so um, they're really really rare and the opportunities you know it's a it's it's great for the picking for mm. somebody who's who's ready to to launch into that role. Tell us about what you're moving into next. Good question. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a nice break because <laughs> obviously the workload is really high. Mm. So you're working sort of six seven days a week, eight in the morning till eleven at night. It's really non-stop. So it's it's really key to replenish. Um, I have uh, three months work directing and acting because um, I cross over both of those um, uh, further up north. Uh, but I'm based here, essentially. I'll be based here and I'll be mm. freelancing and I'm a photographer as well. Mm. Yeah. What, is, what are some of the challenges that directors and actors face here in Dunedin? Well, limitations of work. I mean, mm. Fortune Theatre is the only professional theatre in the town it's of, its, of its kind. So we produce nine shows a year and on average we, we cast about 45 actors through that year. Um, and you know, like if you're a 65 year old actor, not every play has a 65 year old in it. Or if you're an 18 year old actor, not every play has in mm. it. So it, you'd be silly to sort of wait around if you're really passionate about, about being a professional in the industry. Some people make it happen, but they do base here and they go other places, but you have to travel in order to sustain a career. Yeah. Lara McGregor, outgoing artistic director of the Fortune Theatre. Thanks so much for your time and good luck for your future endeavors. Thank you and thank you for your support.